Alrighty then. Uh, this morning, I'm going to start working on a project that uh, I've actually been working on for a couple of weeks now, researching and, you know, actually ordering parts and getting some stuff ready. And um, I was inspired by another YouTube video. Um, I'll post a link uh, down in the doobly-doo to the original video uh, where a guy made a spot welder out of uh, basically a car battery, a solenoid, and a switch, and some wires. And um, these are the basic parts for this. Uh, I have some six AWG battery cable, or in this case, this is actually a welding cable. Although for welding cable, it's awfully thin, but it's marked as welding cable. Uh, this is a solenoid from for a Kawasaki motorcycle. I think it was like six bucks, seven bucks. Uh, this is rated at about a hundred amps. Uh, if I need a bigger one, I've, I've already got uh, seen one online that I can get for seven dollars. That's two hundred amps. Uh, but for the amount of time the solenoid will be engaged. I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. Uh, solenoid will be triggered by a switch similar to one of these. And basically it's just going to hook up to the battery. I'll have uh, one positive, one negative. This one is going to be attached to this. A wire will go from here to positive. The other wire will go to the switch. There will be another wire from the negative side to the switch. And you basically just have to tap the switch really quickly to uh, trigger the welder. Uh, a very fast pulse is all that's needed in most cases to uh, weld battery tabs and things like that. Um, the electrodes are these nails that they measure approximately 0.162 inches. Uh, they're solid copper and they're about three and a half inches long. They were sold on eBay for killing trees. Uh, apparently if you nail a bunch of copper spikes into a tree it'll kill it. Uh, we have a piece of brass which I will be using to make the electrode holders. This is half inch by half inch solid brass. We have a piece of copper bus bar one inch by one eighth of an inch and I've already started working on this. Uh, the way this is going to work is this part will bolt onto here, the other side will bolt onto here, and this will make my uh, connection to the battery. Um, this theoretically could handle over 200 amps. Uh, with a 30 degree Celsius rise in temperature. Um, but I believe that's continuous, that's not momentary. Uh, it can probably handle a lot more than that momentary. Um, the electrodes, this is the drawing that I made for them. Uh, let's see here. 
basically just going to drill two three-eighths inch deep holes the same diameter as the nails which coincidentally is the same almost exactly the same diameter as this wire and I will be well, it looks like I've already lost it oh there they are I will be using a set screw this is uh, I believe a quarter 28 thread set screw and that will be used to hold the, the electrode in one end and the wire in the other. Uh, the electrodes are offset by approximately 3 16 of an inch from the edge of here so that I can put them close together. Um, they'll be about like that. And if needed, of course, I can just bend the copper nails to get them closer. Um, and there's some unfinished space in here that if I want to do something like mount this to uh, something to, to make it easier to do certain types of welding, spot welding um, then I'll have a place to work these are one inch long so they will be I will be cutting them about one inch long and then drilling the holes and tapping the screws um, tapping these two screw holes is going to be interesting because I may have to drill all the way through it. I don't have any bottoming taps. I just have normal taps. We'll have to see. I may end up having to buy some. Um, so going to do something slightly different this time. We're going to I'm going to just film as much of my work as possibly I might need to. And if you get bored with this kind of stuff, that's yeah, well. Um, I I oftentimes watch videos of uh, other YouTube people that have videos that are uh, an hour or two hours long and if uh, if they get to be a little too boring then I just fast forward or skip things that I know about or whatever this is a uh, Prussian blue um, used by machinists to mark stuff to make uh, whoop, make stuff easier to see. Um, supposedly it's quite poisonous, so I guess I shouldn't shouldn't drink it. So, of course, all my measurements are in decimal.
So, let's see, 1875. That should be, I think, 3 sixteenths. And that's what it is, 3 sixteenths. These uh, measurements don't have to be exactly, totally perfect. Um, pretty close, but not perfect. So we are offset from the edge inwards 3 16ths of an inch, offset from one side 3 16ths of an inch, and the hole itself will be drilled for a quarter inch tap. Once again, this is uh, just uh, something I don't entirely um, you know, need this, but the nice thing is that it's scalable. Um, It can uh, just easily change the battery size or even use some kind of power supply to, to do this. And it could even be used with batteries, I mean, uh, Lippo batteries or something like that.
And for anybody who probably hasn't watched my earlier video, um, this hammer was made by my dad when he was a teenager in high school. So then on the end, I'm going to be drilling a, a hole, and this one needs to be, it's going to be in the center, so one quarter of an inch. And then three sixteenths of an inch.
So let's see if we can if you can see that. Um, so you can see where we've got the two marks here, and then if it, you can see where I put the possibly see the hole punch. It may not be clear from. from the vantage point of you guys, but it lines up. So, I have to go change the blade on my bandsaw, since it's got a wood blade in it, and then we're going to, I'm going to cut this off, and, well actually, I'm going to drill these first, then I'll cut it off, because it'll be a lot easier to drill in this with uh, at least these two holes. And what I'm probably going to do is, let me go grab, Yeah, it looks like I may have to drill almost completely through it, if not completely through it, in order to tap this properly. What I can do is I can either put set screws on the other side, or I can just go back later and fill it in with solder. We'll see. Back in a moment. So, let's see we have a pilot drill in here.
All right, I gotta change this out for the crack drill. Okay. Okay. That much is good. Now for the hard part. Well, there's nothing like a simple job turning into a quest. Uh, when I got this Ryobi bandsaw, I bought some extra blades. And it's a 10 inch or 9 inch, it's a 10 inch bandsaw. And so I went to Home Depot and they didn't have a big selection of blades. So I bought what would said fits 9 and 10 inch blades. And it was three different blades uh, a metal blade and a couple of different wood blades. And I didn't try to use them until today where I found out they're too small. Apparently there's two different size 9 and 10 inch blades. There's 59 and a half and 62. And I had purchased the 59 and a half, which is not what I needed. So I had to go on a quest just now. I went to Home Depot and they have 62 inch blades, but they've only got a very small selection, basically three different sizes, 62, 59 and a half, and 93, or something like that, and only in the 62 inch blades they only had wood blades. So luckily I looked up on Harbor Freight's website and found that Harbor Freight uh, Carry 62 inch metal bandsaw blades for the ridiculous price of $13. So that's what I went and got. Uh, I also had picked up a set of the wooden bandsaw blades for from Home Depot just to have them. God, what an irritation. So, uh, focus. 
Focus. So that's the first one. And of course this is the uh, focus. The connector for the solenoid. Alright, on to the next. Yeah, I figured I would uh, cut the um, threads in this first before I go through all the trouble of trying to drill all the way through it. This is where we're going to find out whether or not this is the right thread for set screws that I've got. Let's see if this fits. Oh, they definitely are quarter 28 or 24 or whatever this is. That's good. threaded. Okay, we're going to pilot drill this and then we're going to drill, I believe it's a 19 drill bit. Yep. Which 
is 0.166 inches. Well, let's take this back and look at it under the, uh, on the bench. Okay. Uh, so. You can see how well or terrible I did. Um, so. Here. And you can see that uh, when I drilled this hole, even though I center punched it, pilot drilled it, it still is off. Um, it's not too big of a deal. Um, The uh, oh come on, there it is. The important thing is that this works, um, uh, even though I measured this out at point. 166 apparently it's not Well actually it is 0.166 but Six six, but the uh, the ridges on here are preventing it from going in. I may drill it out just a next size up, uh, and then of course there's the size of the wire, which. It's gonna, it's gonna have to go up the next size higher. So, um, I'm not going to film making the second one. The process is pretty much the same. 
Hopefully I'll do a better job. Once again, not super uh, critical. And I'll drill this out to the next size larger than uh, 19. Is, uh, this just, just fits in here, just barely. Um, this is all I'm going to work on it uh, today, although you guys are going to see it as one video. I'm not splitting this video up unless it goes really long. So, um, until tomorrow.